News 12's Matthew Boyd was there as the animals were removed after the shelter failed to provide proper housing and care to nearly 200 dogs and cats. We want to warn you, the video you're about to see could be disturbing to some viewers. It's been almost a decade since the SBCA of Texas has seized animals out of an animal shelter. But today, 20 members, along with Hunt County deputies and constables, seized more than 150 cats and dogs from an animal shelter in Wolf City. The situation here inside the property is um, uh, dogs and cats in cruel confinement situations and also uh, in uh, situations of medical neglect. Investigators with the SBCA and a Hunt County constable visited the Frank Bartram Memorial Animal Shelter five times within the last year to try to get the shelter into compliance. However, the shelter failed to meet Texas health and safety laws. This past uh, time that our investigator and the constable's office visited, uh, just things had continued to get worse and worse. And uh, at that time, our investigator made the decision it was time to pursue a uh, seizure warrant. SBCA member Mara Davis walked through the facility and tells us she found animals with deep, gaping, open wounds. In the barn building, uh, there was a deceased puppy that I saw in one of the cages uh, that was in with uh, what appeared to be that puppy's sibling. There were, there were some situations in there that were very hard to see. No charges have been brought against the shelter owner who declined to speak with us. However, the Hunt County Constable said he is looking into filing criminal charges. If a judge in Hunt County rules in favor of the SPCA in a hearing next Thursday, the animals will be placed up for adoption. In the meantime, they will be transported to an animal shelter in McKinney where they will be treated. In Wolf City, Matthew Boyd, News 12.